Guys, we're in central London in Chinatown. If you like Chinese food, Peking duck and hot pot, watch us real until the end. So guys, we've come to the heart of Chinatown, the main strip where they've got endless number of eateries and bakeries and bubble tea, you name it, it's here. And we've come to this place called Real Beijing. This place was recommended to me by a number of my followers. Uh, they told me, Farid, you need to come down here and check out the hot pot. So here we are. We came and we're going to go and discover and try the hot pot and see what all the fuss is about. So as you walk in, you come through this corridor and you go into the main dining space. It's a really casual environment, uh, nothing pretentious over here. Uh, really cozy, warm, uh, good vibe, good atmosphere. Uh, we came pretty early and it was pretty busy. Uh, so I highly recommend coming here uh, earlier and expect to be in the queue. The menu, barbecue dishes. Uh, prices look pretty reasonable to be honest. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, starters. Uh, all the usual suspects. They've got their meat dishes. The great thing is it's not like an endless menu which most Chinese restaurants have like these huge endless number of pages. So that's always a good sign. So it always gives a sign that this place is like specializing in quality. Uh, fish dishes, rice dishes and then they've got a, quite an extensive uh, vegetarian or vegetable dishes. And then the main event is here, the famous hot pots. So they've got meat, veg, uh, beancurs, seafood, noodles, mushrooms. You basically choose whatever you want. And you've got dipping sauces, sauces as well, two pound uh, dip. Looks good. Let's order and let's check this place out. So we ordered guys and we're waiting for our hot pot to, to come. So basically you choose all your toppings. So we've chosen shrimp, shiitake mushrooms, uh, potatoes, spinach, and also you can choose your proteins. We only chose one, the premium beef, and then the type of noodles. You can choose whatever you like, as much as you like. We've got the spicy cucumber salad, the braised aubergine, some fried rice as well. Um, yeah, and that's the lineup, and then we're waiting for the broth that we chose half and a half. So you can do that, or you can have one broth. We chose the tomato and the spicy Szechuan. Overall, I was really impressed with the portion sizes. The fried rice was really good. This aubergine was really nice. The, the salad is always refreshing. Um, we got also this like uh, spicy vegetable noodles. The noodles were a bit thick and big for me, but nevertheless, it was beautiful. Some compound chicken. I always get this. I just love the whole combination of peanuts and chicken and spiciness and oiliness and yeah, yum. So we got our broth, hot pot getting ready. We got a spicy half and half with uh, tomato broth. Hot pot is getting ready. Look at that shrimp. Mushrooms, potatoes, spinach, steak, strips. Look at that, bubbly, yummy, yummy, yummy. The great thing with hot pots is really, really cool when you come with a group of friends because you just literally throw everything in and share it all. The main event is obviously the broth, but then what you choose as toppings is also important. Overall, I really love the Szechuan spicy broth. The tomato broth was also a little bit of comfort because the Szechuan can be quite spicy. But overall, really, really tasty, very good quality. We shot at the real Beijing in Soho, where they got the famous hops, hot pots. So, what did I think? So. For those in particular who have just joined my page, uh, you should know that I'm a real food blogger, right? I say it how it is, I don't bullshit, I don't say it's the best place I've had, it's the best burger in the world, it's the best this, best that, like these other fake food bloggers that all of us are probably getting tired of, all right? So we say it how it is, really, genuinely. So what was my feedback? Um, so basically, long story short, great value for money. Honestly, I mean, I'm not really one of these fans of eat as much as elite eat type buffets and even the hot pot style because I just can't eat that much. I mean, I know some people can, so enjoy it. But me personally, I'm never a fan of these types of concepts. So putting that aside, when you look at the overall value for money, you just, how can you criticize, right? You can choose whatever you like, however much you like, and just eat. <laughs> I mean, it's great value for money. Overall quality was pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's the best in London and all this scenario that everyone else keeps going on about, all these fake bloggers will keep saying that it's the best place I've been in but it was really good. Would I come back? That's the number one question. Yes, I would. It's one of those places where I would return. I actually like the whole vibe, the whole, if you like, unpretentious type setup. Very cozy, very warm. Typical, if you like, Chinese. I don't know what a typical Chinese restaurant look and feel is, but it was a typical Chinese 
uh, restaurant look and feel. It was busy, good vibe. Service was on point, really good. I mean, overall, what can I say? It was really good. I wouldn't say it's the best. It's not the, the most wow experience I've had, but definitely one of those places that I would recommend you guys visiting.